Hi, I'm Ivan Santos, and I'm here with Mayor McBarnes. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Mayor McBarnes, and what you do every day. Well, Ivan, first and foremost, uh, thanks for having me out this morning. It's good to be back uh, at my alma mater. I was born and raised uh, here in Frankfurt. I'm a proud graduate of Frankfurt Senior High School. Uh, went off to Butler University to obtain my degree and wanted to come right back to my hometown uh, and give back. It's been the greatest honor of my life serving uh, my hometown as mayor over these past six years now. It's hard to believe. Uh, I'm married uh, to my beautiful wife, Samantha. We have our three-year anniversary this May, and we don't have any kids yet, but we do have a little cat at home named Nugget, uh, and he is definitely our baby. So that's a little bit about myself. Wow. Well, all right, let's travel back six years. Uh, so when you were in college, uh, you were running for mayor, right? I was. So what inspired you to uh, run for mayor? I had a lot of health challenges growing up. Uh, I learned very early in life that time is precious, life is short, and there's work to be done. We don't know how much time we're going to have here. So I wanted the environment around me to be a product uh, of my leadership. I wanted to have a hand in helping mold the world and make it a better place for my children one day. And I thought, you know, what better place to start than the place I was born and raised? And it was really, it, it was that simple. And so I started talking to people in the community, pastors, business leaders, uh, corporate citizens, uh, other elected officials, uh, and I figured out what Frankfurt really needed. And so I wanted to come back, plug myself in, and make the most out of the time that I had here. Uh, so that was really the driving force of why I wanted to be mayor of, of my hometown. Wow. Um, was it stressful running for mayor and going to college at the same time? Anything in life that's worth having isn't easy. Uh, we have to be willing to work hard and overcome obstacles in order to obtain greatness. Uh, and that's something that's applicable not only when you're wanting to become mayor, but if you're wanting to become a lawyer, a doctor, no matter what it is, it's going to be tough. But through those times, I surrounded myself with good people. Um, I leaned back on my faith. I kept working hard. I learned from my mistakes. Uh, and today, I'm a stronger person because of it. Wow. I'm sure many people did not like you because you had no experience and you just graduated from college. How did you respond to those people? Well, what I said was the fact that I had no political experience, I think, was my greatest asset. I didn't owe anyone anything. I wasn't tainted by the political system. I wasn't your prototypical politician. Uh, and I believe that, that fresh voice, uh, the ability I had to come right in uh, and inject new ideas into the city and not to do things the way they had always been done, to think outside the box, to be a young individual that had a different view of the world in this community was something that eventually people took a liking to. Uh, and I believe because of that, we were able to draw people in and to this day get people involved in local government that had never been involved before. And how did we do that? You know, and, and to this day I tell people, if I can do it, you can do it. And it takes the common citizen, just like me, just like you, to rise up, make a difference in our city, and to change it for the good. Wow, so uh, I remember I was a little kid and there's these signs, uh, Chris McBarnes for mayor. Mm -hmm. So what strategies did you use to run your campaign? Grassroots. We didn't have a bunch of money in the bank. We didn't have a bunch of elite political donors. We reached the people of this city the only way we knew how, and that was wearing out two good pairs of Reebok sneakers, knocking on every door in this city, talking to anyone that would listen to me, and asking the everyday citizen, what are you seeing in your neighborhood? What needs to be improved? Uh, what, what programs are we spending money on right now that we might not need? Where can we trim the fat from local government? We reached out to people, and then based on those comments, I created a 100-day plan for our city based around neighborhood revitalization, economic development, citizen voice, and communications. And said in my first 100 days in office, here's how I'm going to start attacking these problems. So we were very transparent about our plan. We are to this day, and that's how we reached the people of this city. It was very much the grassroots effort that allows me to have this position I have today. I'm very grateful for that. Wow. Um, I've seen many changes around downtown and the TPA. How do you come up with these projects and decide what to do with Frankfurt? We have a lot of focus groups. Actually, 
You know, I have a group of students here at the high school called the Frankfurt Future Leaders Advisory Council. And whether it be a downtown revitalization planning process or a, ma or a master parks planning process, we engage key stakeholders. Our young people, our small business owners, people that have lived here all their life, we ask them what they want to see and we kind of, we pluck the best ideas out of those conversations uh, and now they're being implemented, whether it be nickel plate flats in the downtown or our new gravity rail at the TPA Park, which has been a big hit. We're changing Frankfurt and, and investing in ways and doing things that have never been done before here in the city, and it's gonna lead to transformational changes. Wow, so when you enter like your office, uh, do you have any everyday things you do at work? Sure. The first thing you need to understand about being mayor is one day is, is not, it's not the same as the next. Every day I'm walking in and there's something new, there's something fresh, I'm hearing from someone different. And that's one thing I love about my job. The things I do every day is, is I always come in, I look at fund reports, I keep a close eye uh, on the fiscal and financial health of our city. That's something I stay very in tune with our clerk treasurer on. I'm in constant communication with our department heads, whether that be our chief of police or chief of fire. We very much built a family culture. Um, we lean on one another. We're brothers and sisters in this fight to make Frankfurt a better place. And then I always have citizen communications that I have to get back with people every day. And whether it be an alley issue, a street issue, a neighborhood issue, a crime issue, I'm constantly interfacing and communicating with the people that I serve. Wow. Um, how are you a possible replacement for State Senator Brandon Harshman? Um, sure, you put a lot of consideration and thinking on this. Uh, what was your answer? I did. Uh, so I've had two or three opportunities, and again, very humbling because I don't know if I even deserve those opportunities. Uh, but the state senate was one thing that my wife and I looked very hard at, Ivan. It came down to this. I made a commitment to the people of this city to serve them for another four years. And I have a commitment to my hometown. And to put it plain and simple, I can't abandon my post. There's work left to be done here. Uh, I need to make this city a better place so I can get young men like you to think about moving back to Frankfurt once you have that college degree, once you're a CEO one day. And I refuse to abandon my post when there's work left to be done. I made a commitment to the people of this city, and I'm going to see that commitment through, and that's what it came down to. And you have two years left for being mayor? Or? I do. So what are, you gonna, what are your plans after your term is over? I'm still very much praying about that. Uh, I haven't completely ruled out running for a third term. Uh, as mayor. A lot of that depends on what we're able to get done over this next year and a half. We have some transformational projects on the table right now, getting nickel plate flats built in the downtown, a 72 unit luxury apartment complex. Mm -hmm. We have a, a three and a half million dollar outdoor amphitheater that will go right across the street. We're talking about putting a professional sports complex on the west end of town for our little league players, mm -hmm. our softball players. So some transformational projects quality of place projects that I really want to see completed. And it depends on how quickly we're able to get those implemented uh, that I will make a decision on whether I run for a third term uh, or choose to enter the private sector. Regardless, uh, my home is in Frankfurt and I will stay here and whether I'm mayor or I'm a volunteer on a board, uh, I will still work to make this city a better place. Wow, so you've done all of these things, all these projects, all these good things for the community. What's your favorite part of being mayor? This. this, getting to interface with young people like you, getting to come back to my alma mater, Frankfurt Senior High School, and getting to talk to our young people, engage with you, figure out what you want in our city, what you need. That's my favorite thing, Ivan, because, you know, and I want you to know, everyone watching this, if I'm able to become mayor, you are too. Uh, I wasn't the smartest kid in school. I had to work very hard for my grades. I came very much from a regular middle class family. My mother was a school nurse. My father worked in the golf profession. So I want our young people to know that if I can do this, you can do this. And we need people like you involved to make this city be all it can be. So this is my favorite part of my job. So you've accomplished many things for Frankfurt. Uh, what is the best thing or what is the most thing you're most proud of that you did? Well, I can't take credit for any one single thing in our city. I'm proud to be a part of these projects. We very much have a team of people. I've surrounded myself with elders, um, older individuals that I look up to, and we work as a team to accomplish these projects. But one thing that we accomplished in our first term that, that I am proud of is bringing an Ivy Tech Community College to our downtown. 
uh, providing an affordable route for education for our young people that when they're still in high school or once they get out of high school to take college classes right here in Frankfurt, obtain that two-year certificate that then they're able to take those skills, whether it be welding or nursing or advanced manufacturing, and go to work in our industrial park or our businesses throughout Frankfurt and make a better life for themselves and their family. Uh, to know that I had a hand in helping bring that community college to downtown Frankfurt, I'm very proud of that. And I think that's the one thing that will be here for decades and decades and decades. Ivy Tech's gonna grow in Frankfurt, uh, and that's something that we're very happy to see. Wow, and you attended Butler University, right? I did, go Bulldogs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so what were you majoring in Butler? So I majored in communications. I, mi I minored in anthropology. Anthropology is the study of people, uh, how, we, how we act, uh, how culture defines a community, defines a region. And both of those routes of study, uh, my leadership studies in the communications college and my studies in anthropology, I think helped give me some intrinsic skills, taught me critical thinking skills that I implement every day um, when I'm mayor. So I'm proud of my four-year degree at Butler. Um, I'll always be a hot dog, but I'll always be a bulldog too. That's great. Uh, was it always your dream of being mayor? No, it wasn't. I, uh, um, I wanted to be a doctor growing up. That's all I ever wanted to be. And uh, Again, spent a lot of time in a hospital, a lot of operations, and uh, you know, I finally decided, Ivan, that I didn't want to spend any more time in a hospital. But I wanted to help people. I wanted to help people. I wanted to make a difference in this world. I was a dreamer, and again, you know, I wanted to come back, and I thought, what better place to start than my hometown? And so my story, I, I want you to relate to this, and you, know, you might have a path in life that you're dead set on, that you think, this is my dream, and I'm going after it. But be open. Uh, be in prayer, talk to people around you, have your heart open to new opportunities. And if you have a passion to go a different direction, go after that passion. Because in this country, if you work hard enough, any dream is attainable. So when was it when you're like, I want to be mayor of Frankfurt? I'll never forget, I was driving down Wilshire Drive right behind Clinton Street Apartments. Uh, I was in uh, the middle of some surgery, so I had to come home from school and I was on a brief leave from school going to another doctor's appointment. And I was looking at the streets of Frankfurt. I was looking at the space around me. I was taking these leadership courses at Butler, studying the greatest leaders of our time, uh, from George Washington all the way to John F. Kennedy and, and beyond. And I thought, you know what, Chris, why not come back and implement sound leadership principles in Frankfurt? And it came to me so clearly, this vision of making my hometown a better place. And as funny as it sounds, I decided then, why not be mayor? And I had no clue when the next election was. I didn't know anything about politics. My family had never been involved in politics, but it came to me clearly. And uh, from that day forward, I set myself on this course of working hard, running a good election process, debating my opponents, putting good plans out there, listening to the citizens, and here I am today. Wow, so you did very good uh, running for mayor. I think you got 75% of the voters to vote for you, but what would you have done if you were not elected mayor? Good question. Uh, I think I probably uh, would have went forward and, and taken the MCAT, which is the medical college admissions test, and, and attempted to go to medical school probably. But I'm sure thankful uh, that the people of this city believed enough in me to put me in this position. It's been an amazing opportunity. We have a lot of work left to do. I have a lot of growing left to do. And this is another thing I want to say, Ivan. You know, Whether you're mayor or president of the United States, there's always things you can become better at. I, I make mistakes every day. I fail to this very day, but I always attempt to learn from my mistakes. And I think that's, you know, as a young person, as young people out there, I think it's important to keep in mind, you always want to be a lifetime, lifetime learner. You always want to be a student. No matter what position you're in, you can always become better. And that's the posture I take when I go into my office every day and the person um, that I'm proud to be. Wow, uh, for the new students watching this, uh, what makes Frankfurt unique? from other cities? We have a lot of things in Frankfurt that I think people tend to overlook. Uh, we have a wonderful park system. We have a great award-winning public library. We have the Red Barn Theater. We have Camp Column. We have a lot of amenities in this community that you know even I at times take for granted. So I think you know the thing that we need young people to engage in with right now is, is pride for our city. We need people to be proud that they're from Frankfurt be proud that they're a hot dog. And as funny as that sounds, that small thing, making positive posts on Facebook, telling your friends and other communities that you're proud of being from Frankfurt, 
I think is very, very important for our city to build a culture of pride. And I think it's important for our students to know that one small act, whether it be helping their parents recycle at home, coming to city council meetings, getting involved in Operation Spring Cleanup, getting involved uh, in groups here at the high school that do volunteer work in our city. Small things can make a difference. And I want you to know that, again, if I'm able to do this, you're able to make a difference in our community too. If you have a dream, if you want to be mayor, if you want to be a city councilman, you can get there. And Frankfurt's right on the brink, Ivan. You know, with Nickel Plate Flats going up, with the planning of Prairie Creek Park, Project Home Run, upgrades to our parks department, we're going to be dumping close to $6 million in our sidewalks and streets this year alone. Frankfurt is right on the precipice of having great things happen. Combining that with our industrial park, you know, we employ close to 4,000 people out in that industrial park. We're the city that feeds the state, that feeds the world with our food manufacturers and processors. Frankfurt's right on the brink of having some great things happen. So stay tuned, and I promise you, you know, that movie theater, that new car dealership, that Starbucks, that Steak and Shake, all of these things I think are possible in the next four to five years, and I think will happen. I really believe that. Wow. Um, so... What, what advice do you have for those students who want to be into politics, maybe be our next mayor or governor or even president? Call me because you can do it. I'll be your campaign manager mm. because I believe in you guys. I've seen what you're capable of. And again, if I can do it, you can do it. The advice I, I, I would have is this. You know, when you can come to a, a city council meeting or a board of works meeting, come. You know, get on frankfurt-in.gov. We record all of our local meetings. So when you're at home or not, uh, when you're at home at night or mowing the yard in the summertime, put on those public meetings. Get informed with what's going on in the community. You know, visit. Uh, I've got a Facebook page, the Mayor Chris McBarnes Facebook page. I'm on Instagram. Uh, we have a City of Frankfurt Facebook page. Stay engaged with what's going on in our city. Believe in our city. Surround yourself with good people. And uh, I promise you, if you want to get involved in politics or local leadership, you can get it done. Wow. Uh, thank you, Mayor McBarnes for coming here to the studio. Thank you, Ivan.